What's up guys, welcome to today's vlog. We are at Alex's parents' house because last night we forgot the camera here after we left from dinner. So we came back this morning to get it and I edited the video here. Now I just made myself some lunch, so I'll show you guys the little sandwich I put together. It is the randomest assortment of a sandwich. So it's some baguette bread, blue cheese on top, a little bit of mayo, some chicken, and then to go with like the, the strength of the blue cheese flavor, I put jam on the bottom, just a very small amount of black cherry. So we will see how that tastes. I don't know. It might be terrible, but we'll see. Guys, this is actually really freaking good. I'm so surprised. The jam is sort of like a cranberry sauce imitation and it actually works really, really good. And the mayo and the blue cheese, not bad. I'm pretty happy that it turned out well. No, you're not. Yeah. <laughs> when you do the other thing, and you're like, I don't know. It's just a reflex because, like, when I get uncomfortable and Zena yeah. sticks like the camera. Yeah, I know. I know what you mean. Let's go like that. You think I can fit this whole banana in my mouth? Catherine, <laughs> should I try? <laughs> Wait, try it for real. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. How long was it though? Dan's gonna have so much fun editing this. <laughs> What's that stick? <laughs> it's a tripod or like a stabilizer. Oh, cool. So like you can also like do this, so you can like put it on places. And it's then, a stabilizer? Well, like the camera is pretty like stable. That thingy that you have? Not really. Like I, it's just it's better to hold, but at the same time, like if you wanted to put it down Look somewhere, you just open that this. The just What's the red me? button for the shoes? Oh, nice, Kai! I love it. Oh, okay. I'm gonna post it. Mm. I'm like, <laughs> look! Ow. <laughs> Matt's, Matt's kind of blind. Matt's... <laughs> I don't know what that noise is. <laughs> it sounded like, it sounded like cool. <laughs> You were swallowing and it was going down wrong. Like, <laughs> Matt's really blind. So like if we're lying in bed and he's not wearing his glasses, he's like squinting and like looking at things on his iPod like this close. <laughs> and if I ask him to show me, he's like, here. <laughs> like what you just did, but he does it seriously. <laughs> like this close to your face? We're right here. I'm like, and he's just holding it there. I'm like, you realize I don't know what, like I can't see what you can't see. That's like me when I look at my phone. I'm like this. He needs three glasses. He should get them. He doesn't have glasses. What? Huh? Good advice. He <laughs> should get some. He needs two glasses. He well, should get some. I was like, <laughs> nice hair. The most recent pair of glasses. Oh my god, Eric Catherine. This is from like Sec One. Oh. So cute. They're little like. They're actually like. Like mine? Probably, but like really small. <laughs> <laughs> like Harry Potter? Really? He looks like Harry Potter when he puts them uh, on. Oh no, yeah, it's so cute. But like not. <laughs> He's older. <laughs> and like not a wizard. <laughs> but like not. <laughs> you remind me of Phoebe when she like... What? I'm joking. Oh. You know when like... the Like Monica's like, oh, maybe she's Santa Claus. And Phoebe's like, haha. <laughs> When she's talking about the voices in her head. Oh, Just kidding, uh, that's not what they actually said. What's on my finger? <laughs> Did you wipe your hands after you went to the bathroom? Or wash them? Ew. Ew. Oh, it was probably from the banana peel. It had like some gunk on it. Here, let me focus it. Ew. No, gross, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fabio was concerned. Do you guys like the new painting my mom got? I think I showed this already, but what? it's a Picasso. Picasso. It's a Picasso. Her friend really painted it, it for her. It's so nice. Oh. My sister would like that. Fabio. The stew. The stew. Not even. My hair's so ugly right now. Kyla, poke him. Oh my god, look at Lola. No, look at Fabio. She's a chi Fabio. <laughs> She's Fabio. gonna upload this and it's just gonna be... Fabio. Are you a good boy? 
Poke him, Kai. No. Oh, he take pictures Who with us. Mom. Where are you going? Point the village, maybe? Mm. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Oh my god, I just see stars right now. Are you okay? Oh, I almost just fainted. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. You almost fainted on Lola. Don't leave me. Yeah. Look at my hair. Do you see my box on? Do you see the little, <laughs> see the little oh hairs? Oh my god, they're so long now. I know, wait. They can come out, though. Remember how short they were? Wow. Okay, well, my hair's kind of greasy, so. <laughs> Dan, you're gonna have to edit so much of Kat. Why? I was shoving a banana down my throat. Oh my god. <laughs> Just kidding. Not really, though. I was, I'm not kidding. Mm. Love me. I hate you. Oh, there's another painting. Yeah, it's the booby painting. I've seen that one. Yeah. What is that one? The booby oh, painting. No. It's Picasso as well, I think. I don't know. My mom like likes um, abstract art, which is really cool, actually. I, I love that painting. Yeah, it's really it's cool. So cool. <laughs> Kyla. <laughs> oh my god, do that again. Dan hates us right now. <laughs> do you think we're annoying? No. Dan does the dog voice sometimes. Yeah, can you do it? No. <laughs> Ooh, you little Chi Chi. Yeah. Ooh, you wanna... Who else talks to their dogs like that? Are we well, the only uh, ones? Nicole. I know, but like, uh, like everybody my following. Does. Everybody does. What do you say? I'm not allowed to say. I what? know people that don't <laughs> talk to their dogs like that. Okay, bye. Bye. Love you. Bye. bye. See you. I look bald. <laughs> Why? Because it's sunny? <laughs> guys, I just want to say that I am obsessed with Negan's vlogs. Do you guys follow Negan Mirsalahi on Instagram? She just started a vlogging channel and she only has three so far, but they're so good. We actually met her in New York last year. Super nice girl. She's super sweet and really talented. Oh my god, ew. <sighs> How are you feeling? Tired. I'm just sleeping. Yeah? So I recently asked you guys on my main channel what videos you like to see so i kind of wrote out a list of things that i want to start doing and the like most um popular one right now is what's on my iphone slash how i edit my instagram pictures so i think that's gonna be the next one then i have really requested one is a house tour once it's decorated but that's obviously going to be in a few months once it's all complete and i have a workout routine that people really want to see which i don't think we could vlog at our gym but i might just bring my phone and like film what i'm doing because like i think we can i didn't see any signs for this one that said no filming but yeah we'll figure that out because i definitely want to film that and there's a few other things that I, i'm really excited to start filming and a few diy projects um so that's exciting I feel really jet lagged right now. <laughs> no, I'm so tired still. It's like, I don't know why it's hitting us so hard. We like go to the craziest places and don't get affected. We went to LA and it's like, we're dying. <laughs> so I'm just doing a bit of cleaning up here, trying to charge some things. We just flew the drone for Alex's main video. So we're charging with drone pieces now. Make sure the drill's charged. Just trying to organize all this stuff. We got all the camera equipment. I'm gonna go through some of my paperwork and books here. Just make sure it's more organized. Cool that stuff. And then I think after that, we're going to just hang out, get ready to make dinner, but I wanna clean the bathroom too, cause it's getting a little dirty. It's been a, been like a week or two now that we cleaned it since we were away and stuff. So I wanna clean the bathroom and make sure it's all tidy. We swept the floor earlier, but yeah, it's been a nice day. It's been a, another relaxing day, which is good cause we're still trying to get over that long jet lag from yesterday. Oh, we're both still so tired. So we came out to Walmart to get a few things cause we're gonna make some dinner tonight. And we went to pick up a couple of little appliances. We're gonna try to get a, uh, what is it, Nutribullet? Blender things, we can use it for dinner tonight and to make smoothies and stuff in the mornings. Good old fashioned Walmart. We bought a Nutribullet, some milk, vegetable broth, some baguette, asparagus. Alex got herself a workout water bottle. And some garlic cloves down there at the bottom. We're gonna make um, like an asparagus soup kind of thing tonight. Mmm, look how good it looks, guys. We're gonna roast this and then blend it and then make it into a soup. Oh, it looks really good. Yummy asparagus. Going to the oven. Oh, that's hot. <laughs> what are you doing? You know I'm only Yum. And of course, as always, we're watching more friends. So soup's cooking. We had a bit of an accident before where the blender like exploded and went all over the wall. 
But we're good. We fixed it. We cleaned it up. We're just tasting for seasoning it looks now. Looks like monster blood. It looks good. And I'm gonna make myself a couple of sausages with it. And then we have a baguette going in the oven. It's gonna be good. spicy. Put some paprika or chili powder. It's all up here on the top. But that's gonna make it like orange looking. No, not if you put a bit of chili powder. Or cayenne, we have cayenne. Cayenne's really spicy. Look, the remnants of our exploding blender still here, so I need to clean this part. <laughs> Ooh, yummy. What does it taste like? It's good? Okay, I wanna try, I'm gonna dip some bread in it too. Oh, guys, that was so good. That soup was unbelievable. Alex, you are a pro chef. <laughs> she is the best. It wasn't hard to make. She's been practicing and making the best freaking meals. Oh my God, and now, you should explain the behind story of my cooking. What's the behind story? Of I like, suck. of like, that you used to not know how to do it and you hated it? I hated cooking because I sucked and I would screw up everything. But she's done so good since we moved out. It's been unbelievable and she's being really, really, really like, what's the word? Not brave, because it's not like scary, but she's like really working hard at getting better at it and it's amazing. Well, because I was always good at baking, but I wasn't good at cooking. Yeah, and now, Look what we're having for dessert. Dun dun dun. Chocolate chip cookies, but they're not homemade. They're just the they're just the Pillsbury ones, but still. Oh, so good. But yeah, guys, cooking is like anything else. You just gotta practice it. No one is perfect at it when they first start, but you just practice and Have you get better. At first. What did she say? Comment down below if you know. I never ever seen that show, so I have no idea <laughs> what they're talking about. Oh well. So guys, we're gonna watch this new Netflix documentary we've been waiting for called uh, Amanda Knox and. I don't know too much about it. It's about a girl who was like accused of murdering her roommate in Italy and spent like a few years in an Italian jail or something. Um, I'm obsessed with Dateline, so I like watched a bunch of documentaries before and then when I found out this was coming out, I got so excited because it's like one of those things where you don't know if she's guilty or if she's innocent and like every documentary you watch, you have like a different like thought about her, mm. so. We will let you guys know what we think after it's done, for sure. Spoiler alerts, if you don't want to know, then. Yeah. <laughs> also guys, I guess we should say now, but it's kind of sad. Um, if you guys have been watching the vlogs for a while, one of the cats from my parents' house was put down yesterday. Um, Cece, the black and white one. My parents said that just at night when they were watching TV, he had like some, like a heart attack, like an, like an aneurysm in his lungs, like a blood clot kind of thing. And he like fell down the stairs and then his like back legs became paralyzed and he couldn't breathe properly. So they rushed him to the hospital, like an emergency vet near where they live. And they said like, yeah, this happens to cats often. And like the only option is to put them down because otherwise they just stay like an excruciating pain until they die. Cause like they'll slowly shut down, so it's sad. He's only seven. I know he wasn't very old, and we rescued him. He was a cat that used to come by the pool we worked at, and at the end of the summer he had nowhere to go, so we took him in and we kept him. So it's sad. And now we're worried about our other cat being all alone, Coco, the black one. If you guys have been watching the vlogs, you guys will have seen CC a few times. We filmed him when he was sleeping, cause he was always sleeping. He was a cutie. Well, because he would go out at night. Yeah, because they were they're both outdoor cats, so he would go out all the time and, and run around and stuff. So he'd sleep most of the day, but yeah. It's so sad. It's sad. We're gonna miss him for sure. But like we said, at least my parents were there when it happened. Cause like if they had let him outside, you know, that night and he was outside wandering, it would have happened. He would have been stuck. He would have just spent the whole night in pain and in misery. And at least this way. He wasn't alone. They stayed with him. They get. They had to. They get to hold him. You know. So. I want to know people's thoughts on putting animals down. Yeah. What are your like thoughts on it? In, in, it's like it's like euthanasia, right? So. Like in my mind, it makes. There's no question. If a cat, like my parents said, he was like howling. He couldn't breathe. He was panting. He, yeah. His back legs were paralyzed. Like to me, at that point, it's no question, right? Because he's gonna die anyways. Instead of letting him suffer for ten hours or whatever. You know, just they gave him painkillers and then they he, he falls asleep peacefully over like the course of 10 minutes mm -hmm. So well, I remember when we had to put my older my old dog down goober He was only five I think or six or something and he had cancer And we had gone through like seriously a year of chemo and so much money just to try and get rid of the cancer And we got to the point where he just wasn't eating anymore and wasn't drinking. He just Yeah, we put him down, but it was like traumatizing Cause it's like, well, what you want to let them just keep suffering until yeah. they die? To me, it's not really a question. If you're gonna put a, a pet down because like you don't want to take care of them anymore, that's I don't think that's right. But like when a pet is at the end of its lifespan, I think it. But he's not the end. 
what is because if you hadn't have done it he would have lasted maybe what a couple more weeks or something and maybe and be suffering it is a tough question but like i'm just glad he was able to go out peacefully and with my parents okay so spoiler if you don't want to know about the, the movie and you want to watch it yourself but i thought it was pretty good i, I liked it but i've seen like every documentary on this because i'm like weird <laughs> yeah you like crime drama and stuff yeah. i thought it was good it wasn't as good as making a murderer that one to me was yeah but it's like a show and it's like i episodes. know but it was way deeper like this trial seemed pretty straightforward it just seemed like the police were rushing to get someone guilty because they were being pressured by like the town That's about it. Like it didn't seem as interesting as making a murderer, but it was good It was still a good movie. It was still cool to see um, it just because it, it's been it was like years yeah. of it being like Guilty not guilty not yeah. guilty like you know um, And it was so big in the media that That's the problem and um, I said this after watching making a murderer too. I feel like a lot of trials aren't actually about finding the truth and people get like emotionally invested and they're like no that person is guilty and then other people are like no that person's innocent but like you shouldn't get emotionally involved in it it should just be about finding the truth and there should be people looking for the truth doesn't matter if someone's guilty or not it's the truth that needs to come out not like because you don't like someone and you think they should be guilty or like you need to find someone who's guilty. It doesn't make sense to me when they're looking they're just looking to convict someone they're not looking for the truth they're like, oh, you did it, so I'm gonna make you guilty. It's like, well, why? Why do you have something personal against that person? Just find what's true in the case. What I just found with this one especially is like later on, I was just explaining this to Dan, but in the actual like crime room, like the murder room, they didn't find any of their DNA, like Amanda or yeah, they boyfriend. Found, they just found Rudy's. They just found the guy that was like basically there. And like you can't wipe down a crime scene of just two people's DNAs and leave another person like it doesn't work and that he, way. Even if they found Amanda and the boyfriend's DNA in her room, like they live in that house. No, not the guy. Well, okay, but the boyfriend was probably there a couple of times. This Rudy guy has no business being in the house. So well, just the boyfriend was only dating for five days, so I doubt he was in the room. Maybe, but like they said, you scratch your arm and that dust goes everywhere, and now your DNA is everywhere, right? So like he was probably in the house at some point. But this Rudy guy, why would he be in her room? The battery just died, so we just wanted to change it on the camera. But uh, but yeah, I, th I thought it was a good show. I thought it was interesting. I hope Netflix does more of them because I like the way they do their crime dramas. It's pretty interesting. All right, good morning, guys. We are going to do a question of the day to finish today's video. My hair is a little bit wacky this morning. I'm sorry. I just woke up not too long ago. But today's question comes from Abby Whitaker, and her question is, do you guys have any tips or tricks for flying? Because she hates flying, like things to do. For me, when I'm flying, the most important thing is to bring something, um, I mean, most planes nowadays have an entertainment system in them. They have a, a TV and, and movies and stuff. But if, you don't, if you're going on a flight without that, bring something to watch. So your iPod, you can put music on your phone, put a few videos on your phone, bring a laptop if you have it with some movies. Bring something to help pass the time because planes can be really long, right? A lot of plane rides are five, six, seven, up to 12, 14 hours sometimes, like it's long. And you wanna be able to pass the time and not just sit there sort of twiddling your thumbs, looking around, being bored out of your mind. So a good way to do that is to have some videos to watch. And then on top of that being even more important is drinking lots and lots and lots of water. Drinking a lot of water while you're traveling really helps. I mean, it might mean you have to get up to pee a few more times during the flight, but you're gonna feel, be more hydrated, you're gonna feel a lot better, feel a lot like you have a little bit more energy. I always personally like to buy something to snack on on the plane. If you're on a long flight, they'll provide a meal usually, but you, you never know when you're gonna get hungry and they might not have something for you. So bring like, I don't know, a bag of trail mix, a bag of chips, you know, some, some candy, like something you like to munch on, you know, it can be some like some dried fruit, anything, whatever you want but bring something to snack on because that also will help pass the time and also keep you from going too hungry throughout your flight, which can make you cranky and uncomfortable and no, well, that's never fun. But yeah, I mean, you can bring books to do puzzles and stuff. Alex likes to bring her Sudoku books sometimes. It's really up to you, whatever you like doing, make sure you sort of carry it on to make the plane ride not much different than your normal life. You know, leave it doing things that you enjoy doing. Uh, so I hope those tips will help you out. If you're going on a trip soon, try it out. See if it'll work. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you leave it a thumbs up so we know you guys are enjoying it. Today's is longer, so if the longer ones get more thumbs up, then we'll know you guys like longer videos. If the shorter ones get more thumbs up, then we'll know you guys like shorter videos. So I hope you guys have an awesome, awesome day, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.